Hey, what's up, everybody? Demo from Next7, and welcome to Atomic Heart. Now, I don't know much of anything about this game. I kept seeing it was like, hey, it's coming out soon, it's coming out soon, and now it's out. <laughs> I know it has sexy robots. I know it's a first-person shooter. I know there's a lewd vending machine and that's literally all I know I know nothing else so I guess new game okay so yeah I guess that's easy medium and hard so I don't know if this is open world I don't know if it's a linear shooter because looking at this map now I'm like is this gonna be a big map and I just don't know about it but I had to uninstall like two games to get this installed because it was like 77 gigs and I ran out of space. Good vibes. The Cello Lay complex was built from the ground up to be the ideal comfortable workplace. Candy glove. I've been here before. Will we make it for the speech? <laughs> We've got plenty of time. We can even go on rides afterwards. <laughs> That's right, we were Mark Hamill. Yeah, this better be worth 77 gigs. I guess we're in Russia, and I'm supposed to be Russian, but I don't sound Russian at all. Okay. Oh, geez. Would you care for some more soda, Comrade? Why in a glass? Sure. This is interesting. Just kind of. Another bot got stuck in a tree. <laughs> that always cracks me up. Ooh, what was that delivery? Ha! Uh -huh. That always cracks me up. <laughs> Our main character's voice acting's a little bit goofy already. Wow! What a beautiful day. Until everything gets ruined, that's what I'm waiting for. Usually cutscenes like this where it opens up and it's just like, oh, it's a relaxing day. Everything's going nice. Waiting for everything to go wild. I like that they're fighting over the box. This is where shit's going to go down. Oh, guess they aren't gonna go completely ape shit. Oh, this is pretty. Good morning, my boy. How are you? Did you sleep well? Good morning, Dr. Sechenov. I slept fine. Waiting orders. How do you like the new glove? Better than the old one. It's growing on me. I'd expect nothing less. I designed the device myself. Be careful with it now. It's more important than you might think. Yes, Dr. Sechenov. I'll keep it safe. Report to the lab to complete your integration with the glove. I've got a full schedule today, so Mikhail Stockhausen will get you up to speed. I'll be in touch later. Roger that. Mikhail Stockhausen. Oh, that's a lot. Crystal, get off my case already. I'm pleased to hear you don't have any questions for once. You dickhead. I'm on my way. Apparently, I know how to parallel park a boat real well. well I can walk around now. This is beautiful. 
too bad my social credit rating isn't high enough. <laughs> oh man, this game looks beautiful. I, I don't know what else to say right now. Like, I'm, I'm absolutely loving this. Is this the lab I'm heading to? Probably. Oh, that's a lot of crowd. Game saved. Mm, I do not like that your lips don't move. Everyone here seems so happy and content. Just like in China. You've been to China, Comrade Major? I've been everywhere. I mean, everywhere except for China, I guess. Facility 3826 isn't all that far from our Chinese allies. I like their spirit. Slow. And slow. I hear it's nice there. Indeed it is. <laughs> Sent around a fire around a star. This is probably the history of everything. It's nice that I at least like translate it for you so you can read it. Figure out what all the signs say. I have arrived. Major Nachai reporting for duty on Comrade Sechenov's direct order. Welcome, Comrade Major. Today is a joyful occasion. The birthday of Collective. Yeah, yeah, many happy returns. Cut to the chase, would you? I've got places to be. Naturally. This is the future of Soviet education. A personal project of Dr. Sechenov's poly education. Gone are the days when Soviet citizens had to spend years studying at educational institutions. From this moment on, just inject a special neuropolymer encoded with the education you want, a university-level natural sciences curriculum, for example, and you'll instantly become an educated member of society. Want to learn Korean? Or get a doctorate in nuclear physics? Or learn to play the piano? With Collective 2.0, you can. Yeah, 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 been there, done that. Skip the foreplay, bot. Excuse me, of course. Your particular case definitely calls for something more efficacious. Nevertheless, you will still need an initial neuropolymer injection. <laughs> Comrade Sechenov is expecting you, Agent P3. I've been informed of your imminent arrival. Here, take this capsule. Whoop. with scanner functionality. Using the neuropolymer as a conduit, the sensors in your glove are now directly connected to your neural system, especially your eyes, polymer retina. To activate the scanner, just make a special gesture. Please choose an object of interest and extend your arm toward it. The palm of your hand should be facing the object. Contract all the fingers on your hand, except for your thumb and index finger. Extend your thumb and index finger to form a right angle to activate the scanner. Holy shit, bot. Who designed this thing? The Spanish Inquisition? <laughs> Tap and hold. <laughs> For your information, that's a highly user-friendly gesture. It was developed by our leading expert in the field of advanced interpretive avant-garde absurdist Dadaism. Whatever that guy's been smoking, sign me up. Didn't you say you were in a hurry just a moment ago? Shut your trap and keep scanning, would you? I'm getting acquainted with the new hardware. You are now 
capable of seeing hidden objects. This ability could prove very useful in the future. But for now, please continue with your mission. Hmm. That is creepy. And out I go. Oh, there's a whole ass robot parade going on. I'm just waiting for things to go horribly wrong. But it's pretty cool for now. Bodyguards. How many times I come here, it always amazes me. It's just so nice. Our elevator has arrived. Our elevator. That it? Oh, we're going up already. Oh. Oh, I see the frame rate drop already. All that shine. The game is very pretty. Oh, we're here. Shit, I wish I had tech like this. That'd be amazing. Talk about style. Science is power, I tell you. The boss has a way of looking down on insurmountable obstacles. I really respect that. There are no obstacles science cannot surmount. Other than an electronic glove that never shuts up. Here is your vehicle activation code, Comrade Major. Einstein, what would I ever do without you? All right. You just get a, you take this big long cutscene to get up here, just so you could take a big long cutscene to get down there. Telling me you got your ideas from sci-fi novels? I got them from the dreams of mankind, P3. Man was born to dream, to do great things. But unfortunately, there are those who wish to crush those dreams. And that's where men like you come in, Sergei. Men sworn to defend mankind and its destiny. Need me to get rid of somebody, boss? You're very relaxed about it, my boy. I hope it won't come to that. But let's take it one step at a time. First, you'll need a substantial glove upgrade. Report to the lab. A 
a Tereshkova robot will meet you there and take you to the Vavilov complex. Understood? Yes, sir. I'm getting in the car right now. I'm trying to get into the car. Everybody's gone. Robots are cleaning up. About to say, parade must be almost over. We're still going just far from here because it seems to be pretty cleared out now. I'm here. Happy Polymerization Day. How about some music? That's more like it. Hmm. We're, we're in a floating city. There's a bunch of floating cities. That's wild. But thanks anyway, Herr Stockhausen. Dr. Sechenov already filled me in. <laughs> Don't you think that may have been a bit too much? That was fucked up. For some reason, your response didn't surprise me at all. Guess I don't have any respect for brown nosers. Tell me, is there anyone you do have respect for? Sure, but respect is earned. Dr. Sechenov has mine because he saved my life on the operating table. Everybody else needs to earn it. Anyway, why the hell are we riding a jalopy strapped to a damn robot? Were all the jets taken or something? Shit. Riding turbines is an important tradition. It's a way to remember the days when Facility 3826 was brand new, as we used to ride these vehicles to our very first scientific complex. Fair enough, but why is it a tradition to have them pulled by bumblebees? And why do we call them bumblebees when they look more like flying pigs? Flying pigs? Have you seen flying pigs before? How about flying cows? Yeah, on the condor. One time some genius like you forgot to put up a fence, but those cows only flew in one direction. Straight down. I have a suggestion, Comrade Major. Why don't you worry about your mission, and I'll do the thinking for both of us. Shut the hell up, Glove. I'm trying to listen. To what? Is there anything here you haven't seen yet? I've never been here before. Zip it. What? How come? I don't know, damn it. Now quit bugging me. My apologies. <laughs> that is one big statue. How does a statue that big get held up by the way to one of these platforms? Well, it might be one of those big platforms like that. That would kind of make more sense, but it's still, it still seems pretty big, even for something like that. You can see the world beneath me. Ooh, ominous music. Oh, I'm liking this. Oh, we're about to leave the clouds. Oh, it's raining. Celsius. There is a slight breeze. 
You can now observe the Soyuz Granite Bridge spanning Lake Lazur and two of the facility's high-profile test sites, the VDNH and Sahalin. These are connected by magnetic levitation or maglev rail. This technology was pioneered by the Chelemay Design Department and a personal project of Dr. Lebedjansky. This is a beautiful view. You can now observe the operations of an automated plant performing robot assembly and distributing machine parts required by the facility's various complexes. Controlled remotely by a collective 1.0 node, a plant such as this is capable of autonomously managing and fulfilling up to 100 orders per hour. Ooh, that was close. See, I got a few things I got to record today. I got this, I got, oh god, what was that, Shadow Warrior 3? Directly below is Dr. Sechenov's computational center, the main radio processing unit and control nexus for this network node. I'm sure it's going to be something I'm going to have to collect. Sunflower Solar Farms, capable of supplying electricity to the entire VDNH, as well as the Friendship of People's Park, nearby settlements, and the Maglev train lines. train stations connect all of facility 3826 allowing personnel to travel from one complex to another with comfort and ease well that whole um statue thing makes sense now erected in 1949 to mark the soviet union's victory in world war ii and are now entering the grounds of the vavilov complex the site where facility 3826's numerous agricultural miracles took root. You are now observing the Soviet Sickle Monument, designed by sculptors Elena Mukina and Alexander Kibalnikov, and autonomously erected in 1951 by the Collective 1.0 Neural Network with the help of robot builders. Note that this effectively makes it the world's first collaborative artistic effort between man and machine. Hmm. To an end. Facility 3826 is always ready to welcome new specialists from anywhere in the Soviet Union. We are confident that you will be thrilled to live and work in this world of revolutionary breakthroughs and fantastic scientific achievements for the glory of the Communist Party and the Soviet people. Petrova's initiating combat maneuvers. Initiating what? For real? Watch out! Now, what am I supposed to do about it? Your safety, what the? Please do not unfasten your seatbelt until the vehicle has come to a complete stop. Uh oh, it's starting to go down. You have reached your destination. You are now at the laboratory gate. Take my hand, comrade major. I will escort you to the Vavilov complex. She gonna toss me. What in the sweaty hell is going on here? Unfortunately, I have no information on this subject. All the robots have been carrying out their normal operations until they suddenly became hostile. Oh, what the hell are I you slipped. doing, lousy bots? Get your rusty metal asses out of here! That was really very rude of them. The elevator is now operational. Uh oh. Oh, that poor lady robot. Ascent is once again continuing normally. A Dropa towing robot will be here shortly to perform magnetic coupling and take us by air to. Son of a bitch, not again. Uh oh. Oh, help me, comrade major. I'm falling. What the shit? Oh, geez. What an intro. 25 minute long walking intro. I knew things were, were going to go down. It was inevitable. Storyline's got to begin somewhere.
I must have been out for a while. I'm ready to ask them a question. More too. Wizard, this is P3. Come in. Sergey, are you alright, my boy? I'm okay, boss. But nothing here is the way it's supposed to be. Whatever's going on clearly started a while ago. Victor Petrov is the reason. He's a traitor who hacked into Collective Central Hub and caused the civilian robots to attack facility employees. Petrov has the access codes for the hub. Your mission is to find him and bring him to me alive. Copy that, sir. The target is Victor Petrov. My mission is to find him and bring him to you. Exactly. Section of out. All right. Petrov is a traitor, huh? Ah, oh, chicken just attacked me. Probably because I killed one of the other chickens already. Oh, geez. Yeah, chop him up. Oh. The limbs come off and everything. That's awesome. All right, B to dodge. So figured out the heavy attack. All right, well, now we're getting into combat. Alarm level zero. What the hell is that? 